Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here with just a really quick video because something rather surprising has happened in the middle of the night, or at least for me. Hori, a manufacturer who makes a lot of officially licensed Nintendo Switch accessories, have announced that they're producing a left Joy-Con with a D-pad. Now, this is not a case mod. This is not some unofficial thing. This is officially licensed by Nintendo. It's just not being manufactured by them. And it's the complete thing as well. It's a Joy-Con with a D-pad. It's not a shell. It's nothing fancy going on. You just buy it and it works. There's no faffing around with this. Clearly, someone out there has heard the cries of people declaring that they absolutely must have a D-pad and not that funny, weird button thing. There are a few drawbacks, though, the most notable of which is that it doesn't have any wireless connectivity at all. Simply put, you can only use this if it's physically attached to your Switch. This will not work in docked or tabletop mode. It also doesn't have an SL or SR button, which makes sense because if you haven't got wireless, what's the point? It also doesn't have HD rumble or any kind of motion sensors. However, if you're playing something handheld that requires motion controls, it generally uses the right Joy-Con, not the left. So that shouldn't affect too many things. Certainly not Splatoon 2. On the plus side though, all these cutbacks are reflected in the price, which is just 2,687 yen or about $25 or 18 quid. Personally, it's a little bit disappointing that it's not a fully fledged Joy-Con, rather just a sort of a, a semi Joy-Con if you like. But the more I think about it, the more I think that this is really a very, very niche product. There aren't that many people who want a D-pad so badly they'll buy a second peripheral for it, so they might as well make it as cheap as possible. And generally, if you're going to be playing in TV mode and you want a D-pad, you could buy a Pro Controller. Overall, it's a bit of a weird product, but even so, it's good to see that somebody out there is taking notice of what the fans are saying. And no doubt this will be really useful when it comes to playing retro games if they ever get around to releasing the Virtual Console. It's scheduled for release in Japan only, unfortunately, on the 28th of July, but who knows, it could make its way over here as well. But what do you make of all this? No doubt some people are still going to be asking for a full, proper Joy-Con with a D-pad at some point in the future, but for now, just let us know what you think down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you slap that subscribe button with a great big plus on its face, and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,